Back on the trail, man. Shit. Oh, I got a little uh, straight up nipple cold last night, boy. My uh, socks were frozen fucking solid when I woke up this morning. I guess I have to start sleeping with all my electronics. Um, <laughs> I stayed fairly warm, but I wasn't expecting that. I guess this close to the Arctic Circle, summer don't give a fuck around here. Uh, but it was a beautiful camp spot last night. Uh, that family that's camped over there was really quiet. Didn't you hear them? I, I forgot how well I sleep in my tent. 100 times better than sleeping in a fucking bed. I do, I'm just out. I'm like REM sleep all fucking night. Million dreams. It's just amazing. Wake up refreshed. I think that's why, especially in the long distance hikes, the body can, at least my body can recover so fast overnight. because the sleep is just fucking amazing. So I always feel good early in the morning. But, uh... Probably should have done a few more miles <laughs> last night rather than nine. So we'll try to push a little farther today. We're getting a little, going a little earlier today. It's like 7 a.m. So uh, we should be able to get like 15, I would say. I'll shoot for that, see how it goes. Um, and we're going up over this hill right now. I don't know what the terrain looks like going forward. Uh, we're gonna be passing a bunch of lakes and shit on this stretch. So that should be nice and beautiful. Hopefully we get some good camp spots going forward. And uh, should be a great fucking day, man. Break time, man. I've been moving this morning. Well, it's about uh, nine o'clock. We've done six miles, just over six miles. Once we got on top of that plateau, um, it's just smooth sailing. We're walking down to this valley now. So we're gonna be hugging the, or walking the inside of this valley for a while. Uh, so it should be, I don't know, little ups and downs there, but nothing major, I would hope. But I'm gonna take time now to dry my tent out at least, get some calories in me. We'll push a few more hours before lunch, I assume. Man, these fucking reindeer, I get giddy every time I see them. I, I, I'm, I haven't pulled out my other lens. It's just a pain in the ass getting to it. By the time I would get that other lens on to get a good photo of them, they'd be gone. So uh, I've been trying to get a shot of them with my wide angle, but I don't know how well they're going to turn out. But it's still cool seeing them, man. Um, first time I've ever, ever seen reindeer, so I'm still giddy as hell, even though I've been seeing them every day. It's still pretty cool. All right, well, I'll sit here for a spell and we'll get pushing. beautiful 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 day mid 50s sun is shining makes those rainy ass days i went through the other day well fucking worth it makes the sun feel that much better but aside from the beautiful weather i am enjoying this freedom once again i've missed it so much 
<laughs> through hiking is all about freedom for me. It's the freedom to do what you want, when you want, and how you want to do it. Nobody fucking telling you what to do. Oh, I got to get to work on this certain time. I got to eat lunch at this certain time. Got to get home early and pick the kids up from school. And I got to go home and make dinner. It's just no time frame. You do what the fuck you want to do. It's, you want to take a break? Go for it, man. And aside from the physical freedom, it's the mental freedom. Your mind's not cluttered with a bunch of fucking bullshit. Your coworkers yapping at you about pointless bullshit. How's the weather today? What'd you do last night? How was your weekend? Blah, blah. I don't give a flying fuck, okay? Let's talk about this beautiful waterfall I just saw. This amazing bridge and river i just passed over that's what life's all about man that's fucking small talk bullshit you get day to day in the real world it's fucking mind numbing man oh, feels good man feels good mother nature all day every day Not a bad spot. Sun's dipping down below me, so it's gonna about, it gets to get real chilly here soon. But uh, I got a decent view. Walk down in this valley, absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's plenty of camp spots littered through here, and there's a spring not too like 0.1 back, so I was able to grab water real fast. I'm um, gonna give a couple shouts. When I was up on that ridge before I hopped down in this valley, I uh, ran into a couple hikers that follow me on YouTube. So nice to meet you guys. Good conversation. I told them I don't trust southbounders, but give me some info going north because <laughs> they were heading the other way. So they told me that this next town coming up, um, there's no restaurant, unfortunately, but they have a, a church hostel. I said it's a nice stay, so I'll probably just pitch my tent there, get a shower finally, do some laundry maybe, and uh, um, we'll see what kind of food they have at that grocery store. They, they said it's a pretty decent grocery store, so they just have deli sandwiches and shit, but we'll worry about that in a couple days when we get there. Right now, I got to duck in my tent, get nice and warm, get some ramen down my face hole, and we'll house you fuckers in the morning, man. I'm from, dislocated, I just keep on wondering.